I used to know a man who died about 10 years ago. He used to say, I know I'm going to hell. Hell can never be empty. I know I am going to hell. And I will go there. I'm ready to go there. <laughs> it is good we tell people how hell looks like. The same Jesus who came not to condemn the world, but to show us the way, the way of life. There is nobody in the whole Bible, both Old Testament and New Testament, that warned people fervently about the fire of hell than Jesus Christ. Read the whole of the New Testament. Read the four Gospels. Nobody talked about hell more than Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ took his time to warn. Warn everyone. Do you think I will even afford to bear some of the things I bear in this world? If there had been no hell. But thank God. Jesus warned us. There are some of you who are listening to this message now. You know you are not saved. Something keeps telling you that God is a merciful God. So if you know God is a merciful God, why not make use of his mercy? And come before him and say, God, I have sinned, but I have resolved to stop sinning. I know I have no strength. Forgive me. Take me as your child. And give me the strength to overcome. Why don't you make use of God's mercy now? There are some of you who have condemned yourself. You have written yourself off. That yes, I know I am going to hell and nothing is stopping it. That's not God's plans for your life. For his plans, the plan of God for you is that you may have life and have it even abundantly. John 3, 17 to 19. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That's not God's plan for your life. God's plan is not for you to be condemned, but for you to be saved. Why are you condemning yourself? Let me tell you, hell has an entrance, but there is no exit. There is no exit. If you get in there, you are there forever. The judgment of the Lord is not going to be sweet. It is going to be very, very terrible. 